Hey guys, it's Jordan. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing fab. I am filming probably my most highly requested video that I've ever had on my channel. Behind me is my current makeup collection, so that is exactly what I'm filming today. I'm filming my makeup collection and storage of 2017. I'm sorry that this took me so long. I feel like I finally got my makeup collection looking, stored, how I kind of want it. So I feel like, you know what, George, just film it. <laughs> I do actually also store my skincare and hair care stuff here as well. I just want to mention a little something before we begin, just so I can kind of clear that off. So, you know, the comment section is not... You know? <laughs> I feel like every YouTuber says this, but like it's cool. By me showing you my makeup collection, this is in no way me trying to brag whatsoever. I am super grateful and super thankful for every single bit of makeup that I own. I know I'm super lucky to have the collection that I have. Just wanted to let you know. It's just been super highly requested and I think it can be really informative because I get to show you guys bits that I love and what I use the most and all of that jazz. But yeah, I think that's everything I have to say. Yeah. So let's do this. Let's show you my makeup. So here is just the overview of what my little makeup area looks like. As I go along, I'll tell you guys where everything is from, like the storage and stuff, and also my bits of makeup and that as well. But I'm going to start with the white drawers first. I'm sure you have all seen these before. They are just the Alex drawers from Ikea. I got two sets of the nine and two sets of the five. I literally think everybody on YouTube stores their makeup in these, but honestly, they work, so gotta be done. So pretty much the two taller drawers in the middle is where I store my makeup, the little drawer to your guys' left is where I store my hair, and the little drawer to the right is where I store my skincare, but obviously we're gonna focus on makeup in this video. And then I have the two lipstick towels sitting on the little drawers and my brushes on the top. I think the order that I'm gonna do this in is I'm gonna show you the makeup in the drawers first, and then I'll show you everything on top of the drawers after. For drawer number one, I have all of my primers and setting sprays. The back is more of my setting sprays and the front is primer, so for Setting sprays have the Too Faced Hangover 3 in 1, which is one of my faves. MAC Prep and Prime, which again is one of my faves as well. Nip and Fab Primer Water. This one is a Primark one here, which to be honest, I'm not that much of a fan of, but what can you do? The Elf Makeup Mist and Set, the Body Shop Makeup Setting Spray, and the Body Shop Vitamin E Facial Mist. By the way, this is a really, really good dupe for Fix Plus. So if you are looking for something similar to this, but don't want to pay the coins for it, try this one out. At the front here I have products like Benefit Professional which this is probably my all-time favorite primer along with the Too Faced Hangover RX1. Excuse the fact I lost the lid. Um, don't look at that. The Hourglass Veil Primer, the um, Decay D Slick Complexion Primer, Dr. Braun Pores No More, the Body Shop Insta Blur. This is a really good drugstore one. Benefit Professional Matte Rescue. What's this? We've got another little e.l.f. product here. I also have the Nivea Men Post Shave Balm. This was a thing back in the day. This is what everybody used as their primer. I don't really reach for this that much anymore, but I mean, it's there if I want it. I have a backup of the Too Faced Hangover Primer because you girl loves it. Pretty sure these are NYX. Yeah, NYX Shine Killer and NYX Pore Filler. I also have the Body Shop Insta Matte, which by the way, if you're an oily gal, you will love this. You need this little guy. Again, it has no lid. I swear I lose the lid to everything, honestly. And then lastly, I keep the Fasali, 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 however you say this, rose gold elixir because to be honest i use this for prep for my skin anyway so keep that little guy in there and that is this drawer done this second drawer is the start of my foundation collection this drawer is a little bit more organized though basically all these foundations here are my go-to's and then these ones at the back are ones i haven't tried yet so it just sort of separates them and lets me know what's what so for go-to foundations i have the um decay or nighter i have it in three different shades here chilling down here in the corner i have the clinique beyond perfecting foundation and concealers and also this is the iconic london foundation stick by the way the foundations here the coverage is bomb so if you're looking for really good coverage check these out another really good foundation coverage finish everything is the makeup forever hd foundation stick this is one of my faves and as you guys can see i am almost out like look it's like hanging in there, but that makes me really sad. Then underneath, I have the Ellie Gale Pro Coverage HD Foundation. This is really nice. For a drugstore foundation, it's really glowy. I have the Marc Jacobs Remarkable, which the coverage on this bad boy, ooh, it's, it's for real. I've said this in a video before, this issue is expensive, but it's worth it. L'Oreal True Match, which is my favorite drugstore foundation. And then I have the Dermacol Makeup cover. I'm sure you guys have heard all about this. This stuff is full ass coverage. Uh, looks really nice on the skin though and it's really cheap as well. So then I have this cool thing here. This is actually a foundation. I used this a couple videos ago. This is the LA Splash uh, Ultra Definition Cream Foundation. Looks like this. It's a little ball. How cool is that? I'm pretty sure this is the e.l.f. Flawless Finish Foundation. I don't actually really like this. It's just in here because it like 
fits in this gap nicely. The Essence Stay All Day Long Lasting Makeup. This is three or four pounds and no joke, this is really good. Like, only thing about this is the color range is pooey. And then these here, okay, this is my old school foundation, Revlon Color Stay. Love this stuff, it's for the oily to combination skin because I'm an oily mess. Back here is things I haven't tried, so the e.l.f. serum foundation. These are the Benefit Professional, um, this thing? I don't know, it looks like that. And then I have a couple of the Lumine CC Color Correcting Creams. Really, really excited to try these because I've never found a CC or a BB cream that I've liked. So hoping that these in the back here, these little guys will work for me. Primark here and then this is a Lumine Beauty Serum. Then in the corner here, this is so handy to have if I can actually get it out. I have this little tray and a spatula as well so I can mix foundations, scoop them out, whatever I need. So I have a little palette. So this is so handy. On to the next drawer. I'm pretty sure this is more foundations, yep. Here we go. There is quite a lot happening in this drawer. I did have three drawers of foundation and not two, but I needed more space so I had to kind of squeeze it into one. Basically, this is just the rest of my collection. So I have the NYX Total Control Drops here. I have four shades in the corner. Not actually really tried these yet, so that's one to try. The Essence Soft Touch Mousse and the L'Oreal Nude Magic Cushion. A bunch of the NYX Pro Foundation Mixers. These things make your foundation lighter, darker, change the tone, change the finish. Really handy to have, actually. And then I have some of the NYX Stay Matte, but not flat foundations. In the corner here, as you can see, I have a bunch, like literally a bunch. I can't even hold them. Oh my god. They're just going for days, these things. Look, like, oh my god. Then Chin and Minilin back here. A couple of Bourjois Healthy Mix, a couple of the Body Shop. We've got some L'Oreal, like L'Oreal Infallible. We have here Primark, Primark Foundation Sticks. We also have the Maybelline Luminous and Smooth and Matte and Poreless. What's this? Oh, this is the MUA Skin Define Matte Perfect. Um, yeah, that is pretty much what's in that drawer. Now for uh, the brow drawer. As you can see, again, there is a lot going on in here. To be honest, I'm not mad at this drawer. I quite like it. I do love a good eyebrow product though. You can probably tell. Hopefully you can see it's divided into like three different sections. So we have pomades in this one, pencils in this one, gels here, and then powders here. Starting with pomades, this is one of my favorite products to fill in my eyebrows with. So we have the NYX Taming Frames. Uh, this is a Ofra gel here. I have the Freedom Eyebrow Pomade in Medium Brown. This is one of my favorite things ever to fill in my eyebrows with. Best part about it as well is drugstore, so can't go wrong. Here I have some of the Benefit Cabrows. This is their eyebrow pomade. If you don't mind spending a little bit more, this is so worth it. This is one of the best pomades I have ever used. And then under them are some of the NYX Brow Gels in a bunch of different colors. In the middle, there is a little bit going on. I keep on top, though, the ones I'd reach for the most. So the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil and the Goof Proof. Amazing. This is probably my favorite brow pencil and I don't usually use brow pencils, so it says a lot. Then there is a bunch of the NYX micro brow pencils there, which are really good drugstore brow pencil because it's nice and thin. There's an e.l.f. brow pencil here. These are the Lottie London Arch Rivals. I have a bunch, as you can see, of the NYX eyebrow pencils and also a bunch of the L'Oreal Brow Artist Expert ones. What else is in here? Um, Soap and Glory Archery brow pencil, another really good drugstore one. Put these back in their little hole. As for brow gels, I have some of the NYX Tinted Brow Mascaras. There's like five colors there. This is a e.l.f. one. I also have the Benefit Conditioning Primer, and this is the Benefit 3D Brow Tones, which is like a tinted brow mascara as well. Benefit Gimme Brow, which is a really amazing brow gel. Like, look how diddy this brush is. It works amazingly. Oh, I got another color here. Yay! A couple Isla Brow Amplifiers. These are really pigmented. Like, they have a lot of color to them, which is amazing, but... I don't really reach for ones with a lot of color, look. Like, can you see that? Oh my God. This is a Benefit Highbrow Pencil, and then I have these two, which are kind of random little ones. Eyebrow powders and brow kits live here. These are the ones that I reach for the least, which is why they're at the back. Never really filling my eyebrows with powders and that. I just, I don't know, they just don't work that well for me. But I have them in case, you know, one day I want to try something new, or I do like my family's makeup or my friends, whatever. So I have some of the Rimmel Brow This Way Little Brow Wand Powder. Thingies. These kind of scare me a little bit, I'm not gonna lie, but the whole one thing, I don't know you guys. <laughs> they even rattle. Okay, that's really annoying, I should stop. There is a little Body Shop brow kit back here. This is a Primark brow kit. Here is a e.l.f. gel and powder eyebrow kit. Benefit down here, Benefit browsings. Browsings, <laughs> that's such a cool name. And then underneath these is a, oh, a Lottie London Arch Rival brow kit, which comes with, oh my God, there's mini tweezers in here. Can you guys see that? That's so cute. To be completely honest with you, I think I have enough brow products to run my own brow shop. 
you know? On to the next. We got a bunch of concealers. Please just ignore the fact that this is higher. Like, oh, how annoying is that? Ah! Front here we have just normal concealers, you know, your regular skin tones. Back here is more of the color correcting stuff. So starting with the front, more of, you know, your regular everyday concealers. In the corner here, one of my faves, Maybelline Fit Me. These are looking really sad, like I need to, uh, Get some more of these, because they are running low. This here is the NARS Radiant Creamy, which, to be honest, this is exactly the same as the Maybelline Fit Me's, in my opinion. A bunch of the LA Girl Pro Conceals here. These are amazing, and they're super affordable as well. A Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer, which is amazing too. And then I have a few shades of the Collection Last Imperfection, which everybody has talked about these. They're bomb. There is this kick-ass concealer little kit from Soap and Glory. What else? An e.l.f. one, Miss Sporty, Lumine, NYX, and a Bare Minerals Best Skin Concealer. Then here is all of the new Benefit concealers, so the boing ones. So we have the Airbrush, Industrial Strength, Hydrating, and Brightening. So I have a bunch of the Nip and Fab ones. As you can see, it goes on Goes on for days. I have a random little LA Girl one here. This is insane, like the pigment in this. Like, look. You need the smallest amount ever. Two of the Urban Decay Naked Skin Colorectors and a couple, ooh, okay. <laughs> Soap and Glory Kick-Ass ones. And then over here, I have this uh, collection Conceal and Light Like a Pro Concealer Palette. Bam. Next is my powder drawer. This is probably what I have the least of, to be honest. Which is kind of surprising because in my opinion, powders is what makes your makeup last, but I don't know, I just don't find them that exciting. So I have loose at the front, pressed at the back. First one is the Coty S one. I'm pretty sure this is the translucent extra coverage. Yeah. Yeah. Love this stuff. I also love the Too Faced Born This Way setting powder as well. Such a good loose powder. It's RCMA, another really good one. I also have a collection sheer loose powder in translucent. Again, this is like two, three pounds. What's this one here? This is Benefit here. Uh, we have the Body Shop, e.l.f., NYX. I don't really reach for the e.l.f. and the NYX one because they have silicone, which means that they flash back. It's really annoying because they make your skin look so smooth, so good, but yeah. the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Pore. This is a really good pressed powder along with the Urban Decay. Mattifying? Oh, D-Slick Mattifying Powder. That's really good as well. This is actually an MUA powder. It's just, um, the writing's like, see ya. Prime up one here, and that is it for this drawer. Simple. Close there. Okay, this drawer here is one of my faves because it is just full of highlighters. Oh, hello. I have a little bit of a problem. Just a little bit. So this drawer pretty much contains a lot of highlighters that I reach for on an everyday basis. So pretty much my faves. Let's do this. I'll start in this corner here. So I have a bunch of the Iconic London Illuminator drops. How many do I have here? Six. Six. That is an issue. No, I'm only kidding. I love this stuff so much. I have it in different shades. This is so good for not only the face, but the body as well, because I like to glow everywhere. So this stuff is amazing. Little swatch for you guys, so you can see, like, okay. At the top here, I have this Body Shop Drops of Glow illuminating drops, obviously. <laughs> the packaging is really cute. To be honest with you, it reminds me of the Iconic London drops, but a more subtle version. It's really cute. Here I have some powder ones, so I have my Ofra Blissful Witch. Can we please just talk about the fact that this broke and it went everywhere? Look, <laughs> like look how sad and used this is. I really need to get another one because, can we just, hi. RIP, but it's so good that I'm like, no. Then I have a couple of the Sleek Palettes, Solstice and Cleopatra. Amazing drugstore highlighter, probably the best. I have a little e.l.f. one here. A couple of the Jeffree Star ones here. I have a little Kiko one in the front here. These two are probably a couple of my favorite highlighters as well. So this is the Jouer one and the Makeup Forever one. So this is the Jouer highlighter in the color Topaz, which looks like this. I'll swatch it for you guys. It's amazing. The Makeup Forever Pro Light Fusion in gold, which this is so smooth and it's so pigmented. Do you need both of them? In my opinion, yeah, but probably not. MAC Soft and Gentle. I'm pretty sure this is one of my first highlights ever. Ooh, cutie. I have a Benefit Dandelion highlighter. Actually, has my name on. Can you guys see this? Look at that. Oh my god. This one is more of like a pinky colored highlighter and it's way more subtle, but it is really pretty when you just want a little like glow to the skin. Back here, as you can see, a bit of ABH. Can't go wrong with a bit of ABH. I have a couple of uh, glow kits, so I have the Sun Dipped one here. Oh, this is a Primark one. I'll show you this in a sec. Nicole Guerrero palette. This is incredible. She did such an amazing job with this. Make a Revolution Ultra Pro Glow palette, which this for £10, you guys, you need it. Then the Primark one. This is £4. You get four different shades, and can we please just talk about that? Sorry, what? 
Wait, what? Can we... And again? What? Then there's a couple more liquid highlighters to so Soap and Glory. We've got Benefit, L'Oreal. Then there is way more highlighters in this drawer. So there is a bunch of the NYX liquid highlighters here. Some of the duo chromes from NYX as well. These are so cool. This is a MUA Luxe Glow Beam Highlighting Powder in gold. This is so cool. You like twist it and it like shaves some of the highlighter into the top. So cool. It's actually pretty good as well. Oh, Ooh, if you're looking for a super gold highlighter, check out this L'Oreal one. It looks like this and basically, as you can see, so gold. Feels like a cream, but goes on like a powder. It is the smoothest thing I've ever felt in my life. And as you can see, mine's really well loved. LA Girl highlighter here, a Beauty Pie one, Autograph, a Cover FX. And then back here, I have an amazing Ofra palette, which is like full of highlighters. Like, check that out. If this is not the best thing you've ever seen in your life, then... I don't know what it is. Eye for highlighters are just insane. I'd recommend them to anybody. Also, please don't judge this. Like, it's really dirty. I'm sorry, but I love it. Nip and Fab Highlight Palettes here. This is a Urban Decay Illuminated Trio, which honestly, I don't really like this. It's way too glittery for me. I don't mind this one, but these two, I'm like, no. S-O-S-U, Suzanne Jackson Highlighter Kit. Okay, Use this in a video. Really like this. And over here, I have a couple of the L'Oreal True Match Highlighters. Also have the Smashbox, I think, with Casey Holmes Highlight Palette. It looks like this. And then there's a couple of Primark ones there as well. And that is pretty much it for the highlighters. Ah. Then the last drawer on this side has all of my blush in. As you can see, there's not a lot going on here. I'm not really a blush girl, to be honest. There's probably three or four that I reach for all the time in here, but it's nice to just have a variety. So when I do my videos and stuff, you know, I can switch things up. So, to the left, NYX Bright Idea Illuminating Sticks. These are basically cream blushes, which are really nice, but they have like a glow to them. Couple of the MUA blushes back here. These are only one pound. One pound. They're a little bit powdery, but one pound. The middle section here contains my favorite blushes, the Benefit California. This is like an all-time fave blush for sure. Another fave is the Milani Baked Blush in Luminoso. I also really like the Sigma Corderosa blush and also the Soap and Glory Peach Party. I actually really like this Soap and Glory one. It's like a blush and a highlighter in one. Same as the Body Shop Shimmer Waves and the... Hello. Makeup Revolution highlighter. It just adds a little bit of colour and glow. Colour and glow. Hiding under here is a Urban Decay Afterglow blush in Fetish. Oi oi. <laughs> oh my god, this is the MAC Harmony blush everybody uses as contour back in the day. Then further story to the right, I have a couple of the MUA Luxe blush palettes. These are really, really pretty. A Lottie London blush. This is another autograph blush. I'm pretty sure this is a cream though. Cheeky little Sigma one back here and then a couple of Makeup Revolution ones. Right down here at the back, which you guys can't see, but there is a NYX Sweet Cheeks palette, which has a bunch of different colours in. And then I also have a Ofra book. Again, ignore the fact this is dirty. Like, I'm a mess. <laughs> but honestly, this is just a book of blushes. Like, look at that. So many different colours. And that, guys, completes the blush drawer. Onto the next set of drawers. So in the first one here, I have all of my kind of single contours, bronzers, that kind of thing. Anything that isn't single are these little body shop contour palettes here, but they just fit in nicely here. So I just pop them in there. This corner here has a bunch of cream contour sticks. There's a Makeup Revolution one here. There are some NYX Bright Idea ones, Soap and Glory, s and G, you know. I have my fave thing. This is the Benefit Hoola Quickie Contour Stick. This is the best cream stick contour thingy my bobby it is so pigmented but it's so creamy it blends out like a dream put that little guy back there you go collection precision contouring never really reached for these but they're okay and then i have at the front here some of the body shop honey bronze drops of the sun then in this section here this is what my go-to most reached for bronzers contours all that jazz sits at the front here we have a couple of benefit hulas because you can't go wrong with these these are a classic there's a little mini one look at this just in the corner it actually has my initials on there's a p on the end don't ask me why because my name is just jordan lipscomb but We'll just pretend that's not there. This one here is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil, which is another favourite of mine. Body Shop Bronzing Bead Thingy. The Makeup Forever Pro Light Fusion in 25L. This is honestly one of my favourite bronzers ever. The colour is incredible. I actually have a backup 
in the back here because they're good. <laughs> a couple of the Body Shop bronzers here in two different colours, 04 and 02 I think. Honestly, such a good bronzer for the price, so good. NYX Matte Bronzer in Deep Tan, I'm pretty sure. And then this here, oh my god, I remember this. I'm pretty sure this was one of my first high-end bronzers. Actually, maybe even a high-end product that I ever owned. I love it, I really should repurchase it because I used it all the time, but to be honest, Oh, I have so many bronzes here now that I love that I haven't actually thought about getting this again, but it is really fab. At the back, I have my little Makeup Geek Z palette and just hold some of my contour and blush colours. They're just single pans, so it's easier just to keep them in here. I have two freaking huge bronzers. Uh, honestly, I'm pretty sure these are as big as my head. Makeup Revolution Chocolate Heaven. I think this is literally going to last me a lifetime. Then there's this Per Cosmetics one here, which I think this is like a really subtle bronzer, but oh my god, that is so... Soft. I don't know if you guys can even tell by the pan, but it's such a soft formula. And that, guys, concludes my little single bronzer collection. So I should close this. We can move on to the next. The second drawer holds all of my contour palettes. Again, I keep a couple of my favorites on top so I can easily reach them. Actually, I can't see my Makeup Revolution cream contour kit in here, and that's like my favorite cream contour kit. Oh my god. Okay, well, I do have that somewhere. It's just not... Here right now. <laughs> I'll just go for them roughly. So there is an Urban Decay one here. This has like blushes, bronzers, highlights in here, packaging. Look at this crayon. These ones here are Nip and Fab. I have this one. Oh! I literally drop everything. I need to calm down. Urban <laughs> Decay Naked Skin at Shapeshifter Palette. If you're looking for an intense product that like contours your face, like snatched. Check this out. Chilling down here is the Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Palette. I'm pretty sure that's the cream one. Here is just a bunch of the little ones. So Maybelline here, Rimmel, um, the K Naked Flushed, Primark, Sleek, Makeup Revolution. There's just loads. I have my little iconic London Contour Palette. Again, this is a really nice powder one as well. And then I have this Suzanne Jackson Contour Palette and also a Primark one. Don't know why I still have this because honestly, this is not that great, but there we go. If you can see, if I pull this out a little bit more, I have a sleek palette and a Makeup Revolution one as well. And that is it. If I can close the drawer. Oh, good. This drawer is a little bit different to the others. This basically has two layers to it. So I can take this off. And there is a bunch more stuff under here, which is super handy. It just saves a crap ton of space, really, which is why these containers are so good. So basically... This drawer is all of my loose eyeshadows and glitters. When I say loose, I just mean like single and ready to mingles. Here, as you can see, the Benefit They're Real Duo Shadow Blenders. Like, look how little these are. Eek. Never probably tried these, so it's kind of hard to give you guys my actual opinion on these, but I will try them soon and I'll let you know. In the middle here sits all of the NYX Prismatic eyeshadows that I own. Oh my God. The pigment is insane, the formula is insane, the colour range is so awesome, they are really worth it. A couple of my personal faves have to be Voodoo, which is like this amazing ground, ground? Ground? <laughs> Greeny brown colour. Also Sunset Days, which is this amazing copper colour. Dollface, which is this super pretty like vibrant dark pink. Rose Dust, which is pretty much a straight up rose gold colour. And then the last fave is Gilded, which is a yellow. And yellow is like my favourite colour, so. And then the last one on the right is all of my NYX pigments. Again, crap ton of colours. Greens, silvers, blues, purples, oranges, you name it. It's probably there. In here is just a load of random single eyeshadows. So Diego Dalla Palma ones. There's NYX here. NYX Hot Singles. I think this is Poundland, I think. Colourpop. The Barry M Dazzle Dusts here. Lift this tray off. And out comes all of the glitters. I love glitter. Anything glitter, I'm like, gimme. I love this bit. This is just all the chunky, loose glitters that you can put in your hair, on your face. These ones here are so cool. So basically, these are by a brand called Kiss My Fairy. And when I was in Ibiza, this is what they put on my shoulders and stuff. They sent me out some of their chunky, loose glitters. As you can see, they're like hexagonal glitters. So a lot more chunkier than, say, these ones that I have here, which are just from eBay. These are a little bit finer, as you can see, but... I love glitter. With the Kiss My Fairy ones, these ones, you actually get a thick gel with it as well, which is super handy. These didn't really have a home, to be honest, which is why they're in the middle, but they're the Lottie London Gems. They're cool, right? Really good for like festivals and stuff, or if you're just feeling a little bit extra one day. I mean, why not? Underneath are some of the Urban Decay Liquid Moon Dust, the Elf Liquid Molten Eyeshadows here, Urban Decay Heavy Metal Liquid Liner, and also the Collection Glam Crystals, which I think I need more colours in these because I think they're so fab. And then down here are some of my fave glitters that I own. These are the NYX Glitter Pots and 
I mean, the colours are fab anyway. Okay, I haven't tried these yet, but these are the Peaches and Cream Loose Pigments. So, loads of different colours. Gypsy, that one's called. We've got Lux, Starlight, Phoenix, some amazing colours there. Then last but not least, we have a couple of Makeup Forever products. So we have a Starlit Powder here, and also a Aqua XL colour paint. Put the layer back on, and then that is that drawer done. This drawer is where I keep all of my mascaras and eyeliners, eyeshadow primers, everything like that. How I organise this drawer is cold pencils, eyeshadow bases, primers and gel liners, liquid liners and mascaras. As you can see, I have a bunch of cold pencils and it would probably take me a lifetime to go through all these. We would be here till 2018. So here is some Urban Decay. We have some of the NYX Faux Whites and also the NYX Faux Blacks. Makeup Geek Full Spectrum are in here as well. We have some of the Body Shop Eye Colour Sticks and these are basically just like crayons. A few Lottie London AM to PM cold pencils and also Saving Glory. But yeah, that is pretty much it for the brands. I just have a lot from each collection, if that makes sense, which is why there looks like there's so many. Ofra Fix Line Eyeliner Gels in brown, Light My Fire, and black. A couple of the Maybelline Color Tattoos, MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot, the Sigma Wicked Gel Eyeliner. Keep my eyelash glue in here as well. Duo, this is the best, the best. I use this stuff all the time, the NYX Glitter Primer. Too Faced Shadow Insurance, Too Faced Glitter Glue, a Urban Decay Primer Potion. What a classic, what a classic. This little section is liquids, so there is a Rimmel Glamize, Body Shop, Urban Decay Perversion, this is another Urban Decay one, Razor Sharp. Bourgeois here, a NYX White Liquid Liner, this is the best white liquid liner I've ever used. Like, look at that, look at that. Sigma Line Ace, we've got some Miss Sporty Coloured ones here, Primark. Some of my favourites, by the way, the NYX Epic Ink Liner is amazing, Rimmel Glam Eyes. Then I have this, which I have been seeing roaming around YouTube at the moment, the Vamp Stamp. So this is meant to be a really quick way to do eyeliner. Honestly, not sure how well this is going to work, but I have it to try out. This pot here, like I said, is mascara, so some of my favourites, Benefit Roller Lash in Incredible. Maybelline Lash Sensation, my favourite drugstore mascara. Ico Lash Alert is really good. The Too Faced Better Than Sex is really, really good. As you can see back here, I actually have a cheeky little backup. Also in here is the Colossal Big Shot Mascara, a couple of Benefit Their Reels. We've got L'Oreal Rimmel, um, Decay, L'Oreal again, the Baby Roll. This is actually so cool though. This mascara, you guys, is actually teal. Like, look at the freaking colour of that. That is... Bloody amazing. NYX, Nip and Fab, Lottie London, Beauty Pie, little mini benefits. There's a lot happening. On to the next. Now we are on to eyeshadow palettes. Now I actually have three drawers of eyeshadow palettes. I promise they're all different. But in this first drawer, I keep pretty much all of the ones I reach for the most. Say I want a really quick, easy eye using eyeshadows that I know work. This is the draw. This is the one. Basically, if you guys want to know what my favourite eyeshadow palettes are, here you go. Jeffree Star Beauty Killer. Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette. The Zoeva Matte Spectrum Palette. I've used this once and I just want to keep using it. Like the colours in this are to die for. Violet Voss Holy Grail. Every single colour in here is me. Okay, this palette is something else. The Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette. Okay, if you love warm tones, if there's one eyeshadow palette that you need in your life, it is this. Like, look at it. Girls and boys, honestly, I think you need this eyeshadow palette in your life. If you can get your hands on it, do it. Urban Decay Naked Basics, all matte shades, amazing. Then I have my Makeup Geek little single ones here, which by the way, if you're looking for some affordable eyeshadows, check out Makeup Geek. The Manny and Makeup Geek Palette, Too Faced Glitter Bomb Palette. These are a couple of the Urban Decay G Mitchell. I don't know how to say it, but them. <laughs> Last but not least is the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Palette. I feel like there are mixed reviews on this, but I honestly love it. Like, you can kind of tell, mine's dirty AF. I mean, I rate it. I think the eyeshadows are pigmented, they blend nicely. The top ones you do have to use your finger with, otherwise they don't really work, but they are all my favorites. And then, more eyeshadows. It's probably really hard for you guys to see inside this drawer. I actually find storing eyeshadow palettes really hard. I just sort of stack them on top of each other, so I will roughly show you what's in here. There is the new Sigma Wildflower Palette, 
have the Urban Decay Vice Limited Reloaded and the Urban Decay Full Spectrum. There's a Morphe palette here. I have the 35P and honestly, I don't really rate it. I think the formula of these eyeshadows are different to the 35O and the 35K and all of that, so on the, on the fence. Ofra Elf um, Decay Naked Smoky. A couple more Sigma palettes back here. Nip and Fab, then all of these are NYX, so this is their Eye and Lip Collection palettes. Cosmic Metals and the filter ones. Last eyeshadow palette draw. So in here we have a Urban Decay Moon Dust. We have some Makeup Revolution ones in the corner here. Models Own, NYX. These are a couple of the collection eyes uncovered. Primark, 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 bit of Primani. Here are two of the Makeup Revolution chocolate bar palettes. Last two drawers are lashes. I'm not gonna bother showing you this bottom one really because this is sort of the lash drawer where I can add more to. So there's only a few in there from Backstage and Peaches and Cream. But this is where I hold the majority of my eyelashes. So I have a few brands in here. Majority is SOSU, that's Susanna Jackson brand. You can find these in Primark. She does actually have a website as well. They're only £5 each. Loads more in here. We have Dubai, Molly, London, Holly, Paris, Milan. Loads. And I have this lash case from her. It's so pretty and it just holds like your lashes, which have nowhere to go. Lily lashes back here and then some Huda Beauty ones as well. Amber Rose lashes. I'm pretty sure this girl is on a YouTube. She did such a fab job with these. And that, you guys, is all of my makeup in these drawers. Now I am on to sharing with you guys my lipsticks. I do of course have two lipstick towers which I'll show you in a second but just wanted to quickly let you know I have this basket of lipsticks that sits on the top of my drawers at the moment because they don't actually have a home. Everything in here that just can't fit in the lipstick towers so I need to get more storage basically. There is a couple of the Nude Stick Intense Matte Lip and Cheek Crayons, a Huda Beauty Liquid Lipstick, we have a bunch of Jouer Lip Glosses, a couple of Sigma lipsticks in here, Peaches and Cream Glosses, a Makeup Forever Gloss and then the rest is Maybelline. So there's Maybelline glosses, matte lipsticks, their regular lipsticks, basically the whole Maybelline like lipstick collection. They kindly sent it to me, so thank you so much for that. But um, yeah, they need a home because right now they're just chilling on the top. So this right here is the first lipstick tower. This is basically where I keep all of my nude lipsticks. Just so you guys know, these are actually two separate acrylic drawers. There is five in each. I got them from Amazon. I'll make sure I leave them in the description box below. At the top here in this little cup, which I'm pretty sure I got from TK Maxx. It's so cute. It says, stay beautiful. I just keep all of my lip liners and also an eyelash curler, apparently. <laughs> Loads of different ones in here. We've got NYX, Urban Decay, Rimmel, Primark. Keep my two little lip scrubs as well. So this is the Jeffree Star Velour one and the Lush Bubblegum scrub. Both really good. Moving on to lipsticks. As you can see, there are just different brands in here. So in the top drawer, we have a bunch of the NYX lingerie liquid lipsticks. Love the color of these. Then in here we have the Ofra liquid lipsticks, which is one of my faves, and the Too Faced Melted Mattes, again, another fave. I just have so many faves. Ooh. NYX liquid suede in the corner there. Then in this one we have a bunch of ColourPop, Nip and Fab, Jeffree Star, again, one of my favorite formulas. This one we have the L'Oreal matte lip paints. Such a nice formula. If you don't like a liquid lipstick but still want something similar, check these out. Bunch of Urban Decay here and then a couple of MAC just in the corner. In this drawer we just have a bunch of baby soft matte lip creams. Look how ditty they are. Every single colour of nude you could possibly imagine. They kind of get more random as we go down now. So we have Model Zone, Maybelline, L'Oreal and Sleek. Then in here we have Body Shop, Makeup Revolution, Revlon, Urban Decay, Primark. In here, these are all MUA Luxe lipsticks, NYX Matte. We also have a Gerard Cosmetics lipstick in Skinny Dip. I love this. Sephora Color, Rimmel, NYX. Bunch of the Hourglass. I think these are called their Stylist lipstick. So they're basically just crayons. Benefit there, real will double the lip and some Primark crayons. Then the bottom one, okay, this is just full of random lipsticks. I feel like we all have a drawer of just randoms. MUA here, LA Girl, Sigma, 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 Maybelline. Yeah. Now this acrylic drawer, this basically contains all of my reds, purples, crazy colours. On the top, I just keep my little makeup mirror and some cotton pads, you can see me. Hey! The mirror and the little cotton pad holder are both from Primark. Same as the last one, so there's just different brands. So we have some of the Colourpop liquid lipsticks, Ofra, um, K liquid lipsticks, NYX liquid suede, Hourglass, the Body Shop matte lips. In this one, we have some of the Sleek Matte Me matte lip creams. We have a Maybelline lipstick, the NYX matte lipstick. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Rimmel, LA Girl, the Benefit Double the Lip, they're reals. 
And this one, this is getting more kind of like orangey now. So we have the NYX Lip Blusters, a Too Faced Sweet Peach Gloss, some NYX Soft Matte Mini Lip Creams, the babies again, the Maybelline Vivid Matte Liquid, and oh my god, these guys, these are so nice. This one, which as you can see is way more kind of purple, pink, NYX, NYX, more NYX. <laughs> Model Zone, some MAC lipsticks in here. We have some more Benefit They're Real Double the Lips. We have some Makeup Forever Artists acrylic lip things, LA Girl Glaze lip paints. Now we're starting to get more into the crazy colors. So I have a bunch of the NYX Cosmic Metals lip creams. These are basically like metallic lip colors. Hopefully the camera's picking up, but it's super metallic. Check this one out. This is so cool. It's like copper. There is a cheeky little lime crime lipstick. Some of the Urban Decay lipsticks, but as you can see, blues, purples, black. NYX liquid suede, the colour of these, like this one. <gasps> every time, every time. If you want a crazy colour, check out NYX because they do some wicked ones. More mini NYX lipsticks. These are more liquid suede, though. And then the bottom one, as you can see, it's actually not full yet. I'm filling this one up. So the last thing that's left really to show you guys is all of my makeup brushes. As you can see, I have quite a few. I got these containers, by the way, from IKEA and also the beads as well are from IKEA. I'm pretty sure these are actually like vases where you put like plants and stuff, but my plants are my makeup brushes. <laughs> I just love the size and the shape. They hold my makeup brushes really well and then I just keep the beads in there so the brushes actually can stand. In this one, I like to keep my Sigma brushes and then this one, I keep all of my other brushes. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick out some of my favorites and tell you guys what I like to do with them. This is the Morphe M439, which is an amazing foundation brush. As you can see, it's like rounded, but like super dense. So it buffs in your foundation. Another Morphe brush, this is the E4. This is my favorite bronzer brush. I love how small and like compact it is so I can really pack on the bronzer because I ain't shy with that bronzer. Sigma Powder Sweet Brush. This is what I use for my highlights. The perfect little size to fit on my cheekbones and just highlight my face. This is the Sigma Flat Definer. As you can see, it's like a little rectangle and it's super just flat. This makes the perfect brush for carving out your eyebrows. These ones here are some of my favorite eye brushes. So we have the Morphe E23, which makes the perfect all over kind of crease buffer brush. As you can see, it's like the biggest one and it's like really fluffy. This one is the Sigma Tapered Blending, which I really like for the crease. The Sigma Blending, as you can see, it's like flat, but kind of like fluffy still. I use this to kind of pack on colors for like hello eyes or just anytime I want to pack on color. Then this little guy at the end, this is the Sigma Small Tapered Blending. I love this for underneath my eye, it kind of places the colour and blends out all at the same time. For blush, I love this one from NYX, this is the 08 brush. I love it because one, it's duo fibre, so it carries less product, which means I'm not going to get like, bam, blush on your face, you know? It blends really nicely and I really like the shape, it's like perfect for my cheek. So guys, this is my makeup collection and storage of 2017. I will make sure I'll link all the storage and everything in the description box below, so check that out. So yeah, that is everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do want to know what lives in this drawer, and this drawer. Let me know. I just didn't include it in this video because it's going to be like 10 hours long. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I love you guys and I will see you all in my next one. Bye guys!